Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome to Wild Arms 3. It has been a while indeed, yeah. For sure. Far away lands. I'm gonna watch the opening here because there might be a new little detail added like they do at Wild Arms 3. But yeah, Alex, it has been a minute since I've seen you in the stream. I learned uh, something about Wild Arms 3 about how the whole migrant seals work. There are two items. We're actually going to go back to Kadingle once we're done with this dungeon because there are two items to raise your ECN gauge. One of them is called a migrant seal, which we've been getting. It increases like the, the number, which is like the amount. Not the amount, but it's like the, the, the power of the migrant seal. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but we have that up to five. And there's also an item called a booster kit. Which is kind of what I was hoping ECN Gauge would have. It increases like the capacity since we're at 10 right now. We can get to like 20, 30, 40, etc. There is one over at Kadingle. So we'll probably go pick that up after doing the faraway lands. If we're allowed to go back to Kadingle, hopefully. I don't know how annoying backtracking is going to be, but you know, we'll see. The Discord was being weird. Like my internet was working, I was live, it was just Discord. I couldn't, like, put the Discord notification for a while. By the way, I'm not noticing anything they add here. Maybe, maybe soon. Last time they showed the profits. Okay. I didn't notice anything different in that opening, but I just thought we watched it. Just in case, because people tell me, like, oh, yeah. Depending on where you are in the game, stuff changes. Which is kind of cool. I like that detail. We are in the faraway lands. We got those chests. Nice. I think I'm just moving on. I could jump down there. I'm doing an encounter, apparently. Hello. We have to kill you guys because you guys, like, send us back to the entrance. I don't remember the ideal way to kill you. I think I just shoot you. I think these things, aren't they weak to, um... It's Devastate, right? I think they're weak to Devastate. Okay, I remember how I do this. I have you devastate the unknown, and you guys attack the uh, Vacuumon. I don't think the Vacuumon are too hard to kill. They just send you back to the entrance. They can, at least. They don't always do it. 226 without a kill? Come on, Jet. I suspect the opening should have, should have Japanese version. It probably does. Maybe the Japanese version? In the English version, there's a whistle version. There's one with no lyrics. It just has whistling, like Wild West whistling. And then there's also that one. But I, I presumably, yeah, the Japanese version would be in Japanese, yeah. Uh, hello. You're the thing that, like, resists every element. And Devastate is the best way to hit you. So did I not use Devastate on you? Maybe I didn't. Maybe you lived it. Who knows? Ba, 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 ba. Vacuumon does sound like a Digimon, yeah. I mean, it has Mon at the end. Anything with Mon at the end is like, hey, Digimon. Get wrecked. I'm excited to be playing more Wild Arms. I actually was. Yesterday, I continued. I fought some of the Super Bosses in Wild Arms 2. I need like one more, probably one more session that I can get that playthrough officially done. I almost have my Platinum Trophy. I just need one more trophy, which is... They don't have you fight all the Super Bosses for the Platinum, but I only need a... I think it's... It's Kanon's Ultimate Weapon, which is another Super Boss, and that gets me my Platinum. That playthrough is very close to being done. I was playing that yesterday. Oh, of course we got ambushed. Of course, it's three Vacuumon. Don't send me back to the entrance, please. Okay, they're just spamming gravity. On the plus side, there is no unknown to worry about, so we can just have Clive attack, and Clive's damage is insane. Ba-ba-bum. I think I just normal attack with you. And I'm gonna have, have you refrigerate the one Virginia's hitting, probably? 
Dude, the ambush music is so good. I've been listening to a lot of Wild Arms 3 music off, like, on my own. Like, when I go to the gym or whatever. Or even just late at night. The Wild Arms 3 OST is phenomenal. This game has, like, some of my favorite battle themes. The battle themes in this game are very good. I think you have the highest luck. We haven't gotten to an end, so it should be the same. Two Warp Stars. Did I look at what the Warp Star did? That sounds familiar. Warp user the previously visit station. That's handy. I might have looked at that because we had uh, we had one already. How on earth am I? Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Up, 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 um. Yeah, okay, I see what they want me to do here. Nice. I'm a gamer. Yeah, once we're done with this place, we are going to go back to Kadingle because Kadingle should have a booster kit for us and booster kits. I looked this up the other day because I was like, hey, um, I want to see if there's a way to raise the capacity. We've been getting migrant seals, which migrant seals are also good, but what I really want is to raise the capacity of, like, Skipping encounters. Get the number more than 10, basically. But there is a way to do that, apparently. And it's through an item called a booster kit. So we definitely want to, like, hunt those down. And one of them was in Kadingle, which we already did. I think it was, like, a duplicator door or something? I got 69 that you should forfeit. It's only on PS2 and PS4. Oh, yeah, Wild Arms 3. Yeah, Wild Arms 3 is only on... It's PS2, and then they have it on PS4. They ported the PS2 version. One and two look a bit too old for me. I mean, yeah, they're they're the PS1 games. I would I would highly recommend them. I think they're fun. I think one and two hold up really well. I know not everyone's a fan of like those kind of games, but I think they hold up well for being PS1 games. Especially like Wild Arms 2. Wild Arms 2 has the search system, which is annoying, but I mean I think Wild Arms 1 and 2 hold up very well. Unfortunately, Wild Arms is PlayStation exclusive because it's made, I think Media Vision is part of Sony. I think Sony published the games or something. So every Wild Arms game is like PlayStation exclusive. Like one and two are PS1, then they were ported to PS4 slash five. Three was ported to PS4 and Wild Arms 4 and 5 and Alter Code F, to my understanding, are only on PS2. Like. Alter Code F4 and 5 are literally only on PS2, to my understanding. And an XF's on the PlayStation 4. So, Wild Arms is a... Uh, it's Sony exclusive, because I, I'm pretty sure Sony publishes the games. Or published the games, rather. I don't know if that new Armed Fantasia game is going to be on Switch. I know the new Armed Fantasia game is coming to PlayStation. The one that's, like, based on Wild Arms? So I'm trying to think. I don't remember though, but I think that game's coming out in like 2025, whenever it comes out, I do want to play it. I like Suikoden 1 and 2 because I already like 5. Oh, so you played 5 and then went back? I- I could see that. I think 3 is a good starting point. I'm not- I haven't finished 3 yet, but 3 has been pretty good so far. I feel like Wild Arms 3, maybe 4 and 5, depending on how they are would be good starting points, because that's how I got into Tales of. I played Symphonia, then I played Vesperia, then I played Abyss, then I played Zillia and Graces and Zillia 2, and then after that, I started to go back to the older ones. So with Tales of, I didn't start at the beginning with Tales of. I started, like, midway, and I was like, you know what? I love this series. I want to play the older ones. Final Fantasy, a similar extent. I started with 8, played 7, played 9, played... or no... 8, 7, 10, 10, 2, 12. Then I started going back to the older ones. I didn't play 9 till like 2019. But, you know. I can't believe a flame has been crystallized. So this is one of the energy forces which provided energy for a prehistoric culture. Quite interesting indeed. Well, it's all fine and dandy that we got this thing. But does that, whatchamacallit, order know how to use it? This is some pretty funky technology, you know. 
That ain't our concern. We're getting paid to bring this thing back, that's all. Jeez, do you always have to be so frank? Got the Kism Fire. Right, I forgot what we were looking for. Knowing this game, we're gonna fight like a boss, though, while leaving. And I can't use a Gimmel Coin, probably, because we're gonna fight a boss any minute now. Immigrant Vessel, a vessel said to have come from a distant land. This is honestly fine, because we just started stream. I didn't do much of this dungeon today, so I wouldn't have to redo much progress at all. Dude, I want those Suikoden ports to come out. Please. If, if the Suikoden remat or not ports, remasters, they're not just ports, they're remasters. If the Suikoden remasters come out in, like, October, November, that'd be perfect. Like, this year, the end of this year, apparently they're coming out in October, but I'll believe that when I see it. This year would be the perfect time to just be like, hey, here are the Suikoden remasters. I want to play them. I want to play Suikoden 1 and 2. Out of all the artifacts we know of, this one seems to have made this biggest mark. Melody. And depending on how I feel about 1 and 2, maybe I'll play other ones. I know Suikoden has 5 games? Yeah, because you said Suikoden 5. I think the others are like PS2 or something? Suikoden is similar to Wild Arms. They have two games on the PS1, then they go to PS2. Those two franchises are like similar console-wise. But you're first on my agenda today. Our plans cannot be delayed any further. Your very existence is detrimental to our plans for the future. We're not going to let you toy with our future, let alone fill Gaia's. What is the weakened un- What does this weakened un slightly little planet need? It needs strength and beauty. How dare you stand there and oppose me? Come, Asgard. We're fighting Asgard again. Persona I started with four. Oh, Persona I started- Technically, I started with five. <laughs> I started with 5, never finished it, then I played Royal, then I played 4 Golden. But also, 4 Golden was locked on the Vita until they poured it to Steam. I had no way to play 4 Golden until they poured it to Steam. And I only recently finished Persona 3. Try Feeble Mind here. And Fragile. Let's see how stuff goes down. Dream 4 or Wild, especially 3. I don't know anything about Suikoden 3, 4, and 5. Everything I know about Suikoden is some stuff I heard about 1 and 2. And obviously the whole Stars of Destiny is like a big thing about the franchise. I know it's like Wild Arms though, where the first two games are PS1, then they moved to PS2, and then there hasn't been a game since 5. Well, I mean, Euden Chronicles is coming out, which is like a spiritual successor, but... Similar to Wild Arms 5, it never made it to... Oh, this is a scripted fight. Similar to Wild Arms, it never made it to, like, the PS3 era. Though, unfortunately, the series ended on PS2. How pathetic and above all, unslightly, your inconsequential existence is filthy. Just like this planet, the guy is unsightly... Is unsightly because it is impoverished. There is nothing more hideous and repulsive than a decayed and weakened existence. What I find repulsive is your denial of an existence trying desperately to survive. You dare ridicule me twice? Then let me show you hands on the true meaning of beauty. Show them the light, Asgard. Roger. What the? Since when is this clunker talk? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. This ain't the time for 20 questions. We gotta act first or else we're in for it. Yeah, okay. I don't know if this is going to be like a fight I win or maybe I have to stall for a bit. Only one way to find out. I'm going to have you extend heal. Instead of having Virginia use Mystic. I hear one, I hear one is like good. I hear two is amazing. A lot of people love speaking in two. I don't hear much about three, four, and five. But I also haven't really done research on them because I haven't played one. And two. I hear a lot of things about one and two, especially two. Nice heal, nice heal. Mark my words, when they release those games, I'm playing them. Okay, we have to like stall. I'm not even hitting you here. But um, 
Maybe not. Depends when they come out. I shouldn't say right when they come out, if they come out at a bad time, but basically when they come out, I'll play them. If they come out like this year, it'd be perfect. If it could just be like October, that'd be the perfect time, like just before Second Story R comes out. Oh, I need to hit Melody here. I didn't realize Melody was here. I, I assume I have to hit Melody. Oh, wait. I need to really quickly respond to something here. And I can't hit Asgard here. Maybe I can? I'm just gonna try again and see what happens. He has zero damage. Maybe I do need to hit Melody. Because nothing works on Asgard. Let me try hitting Melody. That might be what I have to do. Let's see what happens. I mean, regardless, we're building up force. Auto Defender? Okay, I can't hit Melody. Okay, now I can hit you. Maybe the barrier, like, stopped me from hitting you. I mean, I'm still hitting. Yeah, you're back to doing zero damage. I'm so confused how I'm supposed to do this. Virginia did damage, but no one else did. Maybe I can, like, get rid of your barrier or something? Eraser. Maybe use Eraser. Bum, bum, bum. It missed. I'm really confused what I'm supposed to be doing here. Five dying would be annoying though because I have a lock on ready, but I'm not even doing damage anyway. Uh, good time to have you use Mystic, I think. Look, this isn't gonna work, but I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta try something. Rich lost vitality into physical strength. Four is the hardest, but not because it's the hardest game. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I, at this point, I just want to play 1 and 2, and depending on how I feel about those, maybe I'll play 3, 4, and 5. I'm focused on playing 1 and 2 first. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so we have to use Valley to, like, hit it for some reason. Why that worked, who freaking knows? I'm just going to have Clive, like, get me through this. Okay, now I'm hitting it. I have no idea how, but sure. Yeah, I wanna... I just want those remasters to come out so I can play 1 and 2. Little shield. This might kill you, maybe. No, really close though. Keep on hitting it. <laughs> Lock on was fun while it lasted. 
think you, uh, I don't think I use Valiant on you. Actually, better idea. Use a Heal Berry on Gallows. Doubt this will work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. All wrecked. Let's go. So Valiant, like, raises your attack, I think. Valiant might be an attack buff move, which I would not have gotten that from the, from the spell description. But that's essentially what Valiant does, it seems, because Virginia just did 500 damage and Clive did a thousand, over a thousand. Okay, Refrigerate does something. That's all I can really ask for. Normal attack, normal attack, normal attack, and... Normal attack. I might be able to win because of how much damage I'm dealing. Although Gallows is very low. Oh, there's the barrier again. So now you're back to blocking. Alright, Clive is still doing damage. I don't understand this fight. I legitimately don't. 